Nigeria, they joined over the world to mark World Cancer Day. National Assembly go collaborate with executive to address security palaver. Many people don't wound you as police and Okada riders don't clash inside Lagos. And court don't give bail to journalists when they charge sake of how they disturb public peace. My country people, thank you so you join us for As It Take Happen this afternoon. My name is Na Douglas. And for the first story, President Muhammad, Muhammad Buhari done they make public presentation on top of the Nigerian Visa Policy 2020. The presentation been done begin around 11.30 for morning. We will bring on more Tori for our next news. And for our major Tori, as Nigeria they join the rest of the, of the world to mark World Cancer Day today, will be the 4th of February 2020, they don't tell federal government, say, make them increase how they educate people on top cancer matter to help reduce plenty death where they happen sake of cancer. Executive Director Pink Oak Cancer Trust, Dr. Lars Ude Eze, will tell government for one interview with our Kwasobe Max TV correspondent Francis Onoja, talk say awareness for cancer inside Nigeria, they're very low. And I make people, they die plenty of cancer inside the country. It talks a make government increase talk on top cancer matter because the more Nigerians know about the disease, then they adjust their lifestyle. Make we hear them. It's an one disease where they affect any part of the body, any living part of the body. You know, from head to toe, if you affect anywhere. So, and as it be so uh, good, make we Niger people may we know about them. So, as it be now one of the things where they kill plenty of people. According by uh, WHO, they say uh, more than 100,000 uh, 100, they get cancer for Niger every year. And seven out of every ten people will get cancer, then they die. But the thing we say, why then they die? Now, because they plenty of people, they know they see them on time. And even those who see them on time, they even get money to treat them. And some will even get money to treat them. They will go to the hospital, the service feel no day available if you know reach them on time so these are the different different things so as it be so everybody is supposed to know what in the cost are what in the supposed do to take prevent those where we feel prevent and even those where we know feel prevent to find them on time they will fit not can come out for you one woman will survive cancer where Oyibo they call cancer survivor as it be she, she can't tell her story of how she takes survive this cancer her name is Sarah Shimenenge Yo. We tell her story how she takes uh, survive breast cancer. Call government. Say make them reduce money with patients they pay to treat cancer, especially those ones who don't get enough akpalakpala to handle the treatment. I've been crying out for the government. Though I just saw something concerning radiotherapy. They cut down they did for radiotherapy. They've added the radiotherapy into H uh, uh, H I S. So I really appreciate them for what they have started, but yet I'm still crying out because we still need them to do more. Because this treatment is not easy going through it, both financially, emotionally, or so otherwise. So I want them to please also add this, this test that will carry on before uh, chemotherapy and after radiotherapy again because we have two more marker we have this that being cancer free does not mean you don't need assistance you still need assistance so i'm crying out for them to also increase this thing into the nihs i will be grateful if they do that world cancer day will be seen at the union for international cancer control the celebrator for every february 4 now opportunity to rally the international community to prevent people will get cancer today suffer and for another health news as authorities for the world they battle to fight coronavirus, making no spread, Wazobia Max TV correspondent Emmanuel Omoka joined us live from Port Harcourt to tell us how they they work to stop corona disease to enter the state inside the Port Harcourt International Airport. And we'll come back to Emmanuel uh, when we're done ready to uh, when we don't hook with him. But the next one, Chinese government talks say they don't know uh, when this deadly coronavirus go end, meaning say. They never know the exactly date when coronavirus will go back to a village. Chinese ambassador to Nigeria, Zhu Pingjiam, now talked this one on Monday for one press conference inside Abuja. The ambassador talks say China, they're ready to work with other countries for the world, plus including Nigeria, 
to fight coronavirus. According by him, the fight, the, to, fight the, uh, to fight the spread of the disease now be the major concern for international community. He also reveals the Chinese government will do everything to protect the safety and health of every foreigner when they live inside their country and to also safeguard their own citizens will be Chinese. I try all our best in all aspects, including the research of the vaccine. But that is a very scientific thing. I cannot give a date. And I should say, not even a scientist can give a date. But uh, we, are trying, uh, we are trying our best. We hope that that will, will come soon. But we do get some uh, post positive uh, news about that. So it's uh, well on the way, making good progress, but we don't have the exact date. And about the health uh, cooperation, I think uh, China is working hard with the WHO in, in, uh, in preventing and controlling the epidemic. And at the bilateral level, we are also open for discussions. And I personally, I think, uh, after the epidemic, we will definitely take the health cooperation between China and uh, uh, Africa uh, 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 as an even more, top, uh, more uh, priority. And now, still on top, Corona Matter, make we join our correspondent for Port Harcourt. Make it tell us what they happen on top uh, Corona Matter because the fear of coronavirus. Now, the fear of coronavirus now, now end up they catch everybody for the world. Good afternoon, Emmanuel. Good afternoon, Zogla. Yes, what's with the update now? Because uh, uh, this corona matter, don't they make people they fear now for everywhere? So, what uh, the state government they do to stop corona to the enter the state of Port uh, Rivers? Okay, um, before we talk about the state government, we will not say Port Harcourt Airport is the, the key place when we see people when they come into um, Nigeria. One of the key places when we see people when they come into Nigeria, they pass through, they enter the country. And uh, as it be like this, I think inside the Port Harcourt Airport. And before now, I don't go around, go check their facilities, see their things where they don't put on ground to help to know, understand what they do to ensure say this virus not enter inside Nigeria. As you know, rumor be spread for Lagos, say the virus don't enter, but the Minister, Federal Ministry of Health don't talk say that one. Now nah, rumor say that one not be true. And uh, for Port Harcourt here, they, they tell me say that they do everything they do within their power to ensure say this virus not enter inside Nigeria through Port Harcourt uh, International Airport. I did hear with the international um, terminal manager for inside Port Harcourt Airport with the Mr. Dennis. Uh, Mr. Dennis Okonegu, Okobu, Mr. Dennis Okobu, and uh, he there with me, and he will tell us um, some of the things when we say they don't put a place to ensure, say, for inside Port Harcourt, we don't go get any outbreak of this disease, and we will follow through the Port Harcourt International Airport and um, call inside River State. Good morning, sir. You can tell us um, what thing on they do to ensure, say, this virus not inside Port Harcourt. Uh, we stay on top of our game because we the collaborate with. Federal Ministry of Health through Port Health Services to make sure that every facility be on ground to check everybody. As you they depart from the airport, we will check you. As you they enter, we will check you. To make sure safe. But so far, we never get any case. That's me to go. Okay, so from, from one before we walk around, where you carry me go around, you tell me say so you get like two stages when we say this. So, so when they check the person the first time yeah. for the terminal stage, then they will uh, get any alarm. Say, oh, this person body they work too much. They go move on to the second screen yes, stage. Second Anybody screen. don't enter that second screen stage. Nobody don't. So far, we thank God, nobody don't enter the second screen stage. But we still there. We still there on our lands. They wait for every. We, we get every facility on the and we get place for second screen. We understand this. And so far, like any medical emergency, a bull and so on, we have set ourselves ready for medical emergency like this. Okay, so 
Okay. So, um, how going to be the compliance? Like people when visit, they come in especially into Nigeria. How do they feel when they tell them, say, okay, look on a daily side, do make on a boat, and because a lot of people don't tire, you know, from their journey and everything. And then person come they tell them, say, okay, come this side, come do this thing, come the try be like, say, kind of like today. How do they ensure say the thing they pass? The thing is not the take time. You know, say the camera. Now from a distance, then go capture you. If so, as you, you know, they read one one minute for everybody. But if we spend more than one minute, you know, say we get the one. So we know they waste time. At all. So what would be your advice to people when you say that they follow this effort, uh, the entire time in Nigeria, and also those people when they for Potako, you know, when they get all they are for mine. Make you assure them, say we take time, we take it. You hear? Let them know fear. Nothing don't happen so far. But we did it with Ministry of Health and our own Federal Airport Authority. We don't deal it with Now, when they get direct flights to China, when we say in every place, when we say so far, they So far, no, only ET never stop. Other African airlines don't stop. They go to China. From Potato? No, not from Potato. From Potato now. And then I break down to another direct to China. But are they ready and they catch up for any eventuality? I say we take up to you know the fear. Okay, so you don't hear I'm from the uh, uh, international terminal manager of the Portacourt International Airport. Don't assure us, say, not way when we say this virus will take follow Portacourt um, terminal come into Nigeria or come into rivers. They say need river state uh, people be assured about this one. If you look up there, maybe the place where we say they, they do this screening for passengers when they yeah. depart. And we like expect um, people right now in the next say 15 20 minutes, some people, new arrivals will come from outside the country. And we will still stay on ground to bring you all the story as it happen for inside what happened. Well, thank you, Emmanuel Lamuka, for that update where you give us on top coronavirus matter for River State. Um, away from that body, matter make we enter into security issues. Senate President Ahmed Lawa talks say the National Assembly will work with executive arm of government to help solve the kind of security problem inside Nigeria. Senator Lawa announced this one on Monday to State House correspondent inside Abuja after one private meeting with President Muhammadu Buhari. He talks say the two major things where they, where they talk about for the meeting now governance and insecurity. Senator Lawa talks say the kind of security problem when they face Nigeria and the type we want to make people come together to solve. He adds, say, security problem, they worry President Muhammadu Buhari, who don't swear, say, he will give any support to help solve the problem. On top of the one where people call, say, make the service chief, Senate President talks, say, National Assembly believes, say, if they bring latest gadget equipment and take care of army and police people, it will help their work. Person will escort Senate President for the private meeting, now Speaker for House of Representatives, Femi Bajabia Miller. And for the next one, inside FCT, FCT traffic management team don't close down two filling stations and one shopping plaza inside Kubwa. Sake of say, they fail to comply with the land use when they approve for the area. Sake of say, they don't follow the approval. It don't add to plenty of traffic situation where people, where they live inside Kubwa, don't they face for some time now. One statement by the Chiamo Ministerial Committee on Top Traffic inside FCT, Comrade Ikaruata, talks say the three business uh, premises remain closed until they're ready to go back to the original land use approval for the area. After the secure one court order, the committee can sharply close down the Owando and Etana filling station, plus including one shopping plaza for NNPC Junction inside Kubwa. And for the next story, they don't give bail to five journalists where FCT police command be arrested on Saturday, sake of the accused, say they do public disturbance and then raise alarm will not be true. The suspect will be journalists who they work with the Nigerian News Group, then grab them after they show face for the emergency ward inside Wuse General Hospital to claim say one of them don't contact the deadly coronavirus. The journalists will be Peggy Shandy, Abayomi Adedoin, David Gold, Priscilla Ajeshola, and Jacob Oji. Then give them bail on Monday after they meet their bail condition of 100,000 naira each and one shorty. We must live inside FCT and they must get landed property we reach 1 million naira. Our Wazobia Max TV correspondent, John Emmanuel, get more, more story to tell. This now the moment where officials and members of the Nigerian Union of Journalists 
They tried to beat time in order to bail the five journalists who caught grand bail of 100,000 Akpalakpala each. This one we say each of them pay 100,000 Naira, making total of 500,000 Akpalakpala for the five of them. The court being caught one and say them go carry the defendants go prison if them no fit bail themselves today. And when you criminalize reporting, it puts the journalists at risk of trying to hold government accountable and promote the issues of transparency. We've all learned and uh, we think we'll learn from this and uh, redress whatever imbalances there are that has happened in this matter. But we are confident that um, at the next John did this matter should be dispensed of and dismissed because there is no basis criminalizing any reporter, any journalist in this country. You know, this matter was not supposed to go this far, but uh, whatever it is, uh, we are more careful. You know, experience is the best teacher, they say. So now we know uh, what and what not to do, you know, in order not to be uh, mis you know, misunderstood. As for the lawyer we handle this case for government, him say Bele no sweet at all at all, say them grand bill give these five journalists we enter Wuse Hospital to see people say them catch coronavirus. According by him, he say if for like me, then take a go see how prison look like so that they no go try this kind of joke next time. Uh, the court granted their bail, the prisoner not guilty, they were granted bail. So the fact remains that we are not that happy for the, for the court to grant them a bail. But our hands are tied because it is a, a believable offense. So we have taken this. So we'll come up with the evidence and we'll make them to defend themselves for the action. FCT health officials come follow the user opportunity. They tell residents say coronavirus in no day inside Abuja at all, at all. The scare of um, coronavirus now in the whole world, Nigeria is not an exception. So if um, these young people are doing that, it's like creating a pandemonium in the country. The country is free of, um, and not even a suspected a case of coronavirus. Courts don't fix March 24th as the next time we don't go sit down and solve this matter. Until then, make na make sure say any chin chuan chi thing we go fix given a coronavirus, we can take off from him. This now, John Emmanuel for Wazobia Max TV. And in the next one, now politics. National Chairman of All Progressive Congress, APC, Adams Oshomole talks, say, even though people don't the bad mouth in leadership style, he say APC don't continue to record success for many elections where don't happen under in regime. Oshomole yan this one when he answer questions from State House correspondent inside Abuja. He say, if you go take rough a rough fight inside political party to win elections, then APC go they win, they go. The APC National Chairman used the occasion to accuse Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, say they collaborate with People's Democratic Party, PDP, to change will of the people inside Imo State. Make we hear them. Supreme Court, in looking for escape route for PDP governors, decided that uh, the use of candidates, yes, is on the INEC guideline, but it's not in the law. Can any, any, everybody, everything possibly be in the law? I mean, the same court recognized the fact that the Electoral Act, the constitution that set up INEC, recognized the power of INEC to make, you know, uh, uh, rules and regulations for the smooth conduct of election. We have to mark all of this. First, because, as they say, two wrongs don't make a right. If we choose to question on the street of Nigeria all of the impurities that we have seen that affected APC negatively coming from our courts, there will be no peace anywhere, but we accept that somebody must bear the price for peace. That's why we choose to keep quiet. Confusion enter Lagos for Monday as Okada and Kekemarwa riders don't do one with no go agree waka sake of the ban with state government been summer uh, for, the, uh, for the operation for 15 council areas. Then talk say the waka happened for Ijora, Apapa, Ikeja, Maryland, Lagos mainland, Yaba and Oyimbo area for inside the state. As the protest for Jora come pass, be careful with riot. Police come, they shoot for up to pursue people where they cause trouble. But any which way, then confirm say we no go agree waka for other parts of Lagos on top of the ban, they peaceful like peace. The riot happened for Ejora's sake of how men of Ejora Badia Police Division no allow Okada and Kekemarua riders to exercise their rights, will be to protest. 
Then talk said the ride has burnt tires for seven up bus stop. As in they try to calm the situation, report talk said police come fire tear gas to pursue the protesters will lead uh, the operation Fire Me, I Fire You. We got to say two policemen and three people will follow for the protest get serious bullet wound for the operation. Just as in talk say police arrest innocent people will not get hand for the protest. The state police talk talk person Bala Elkana will confirm say nobody can put on top the protest and say them bab 20 people. Make we carry worker enter Niger State. Organized labor inside Niger State on Monday don't direct workers say make them sharply begin strike from today will be Tuesday. Sake of say the state government no one pay them the new national minimum wage and other entitlement will be their right. The directive day inside one statement will be saying a Yakubu Garba, Chiamo, Nigerian Labour Congress, and in Trade Union Congress brother, Yunusat Tanimu, sign them as a gift to rich people for Mina. According by the statement, organized labor inside the state don't begin to do one emergency joint state executive council meeting for January 29 to resolve one notice of 21 days deadline for strike with an issue the government for January 3, 2020. The statement talks say the strike will, will be general, go remain in full force until the state government demonstrates clear and adequate commitment to tackle many issues will concern the welfare of workers. My people on us today on to Wazobia Max TV and this now as it take happen. We will come back now to give on our business news. And inside business, some traders inside farm center market for Kano don't they squeeze face. Sake of said the state government don't reopen road inside the market where they connect Zaria Road for Kano State. They've been closed the road for more than eight years when terrorists uh, when been they do over time for the area. Some of the traders will don't locate their stores where they for the side of the road. And where the reopening affect tell Wazobia Max TV say the move come as shock to them. Sake of say, they don't give them any notice at all. Make we hear them. Uh, there is not any business because everyone just you come and stay in the road. We they pay money, we know they steal, we know they do anything. But how we will come for shows like this? Without give us another place. You know, give us another place with the pursue us. Okay, you are more go back to Bankri. The one thing that I know, especially when the government decided to open this road, they have to look for the responsibilities of the poor people. Because of today we are in lack of poverty and many people suffer. They don't have where to go to find something to, to survive. We don't like it because the reason why is that a lot of the youth are here for the business. They are gaining something to feed their families. Then government, uh, government send other people for here to like to offend the road. After they offend the road, so the, the youth, they don't know how they are doing now, how they are making money to feed their family and so, so. But this thing is called insecurity of the state. When they contact them, social welfare officer for the farm center market, Mr. Yusuf Suleiman, say, make the traders talk to the lie on top of this allegation, say they don't give them notice. He said they give them six weeks notice. Uh, actually, it's so unfortunate about this uh, incident that happened. But actually, we have already tell everybody that uh, doing his business outside this market. Because this thing has already happened. And then before we come to the office, uh, like we told you, uh, we are a new in the management committee. We just come into the office on 1st January, uh, that's 2020. So before we came, uh, there's a letter sent from Carota consigning all this uh, incident that happened. So they sent a notice, good 30 days notice, so before we come to the office. As we come to the office, we made the letter there. So as we made the letter, we uh, quickly run go and meet the MD of the Karota, that's a Bapa Bapa Dangawuti. So I will meet him, we told him that uh, this uh, incident is going to happen, uh, we need a more additional notice or time so to come and discuss with our people concerning this uh, wonderful job. So actually he said that he cannot give us any, any extension of, or uh, limit of time, so we start arguing between we, the uh, caretaker management committee and him. So he said, since we are new in the office, definitely we don't know anything concerning the issue, so he will give another time for, uh, as a notice. We requested a good 30 days again, that's three, four weeks. He said no. We just start dragging from uh, four weeks up to we reach, we concluded at the end of uh, two weeks. 
Suleiman and Yusuf talk say, then we don't tell these traders, say, make them relocate to the permanent site. But some of them return back to the road. He counter them, say, make them better relocate to the permanent site so that embarrassment no go be their second name. Actually, uh, that's exactly what happened. After, after they relocate to their permanent site, so in the leadership, there are some misconception in the leadership. There are some people that uh, they are part of the POMA uh, caretaker management committee. Now they are still in this part, uh, the recent caretaker management committee. So those people, they are the one cause all this incident because they are the one that tell those people that leave the premises, they say nobody is trying to uh, but took them from their places. Uh, it's, not, it's not a government. It's we, the caretaker management, do that. So they should come back to their uh, places to continue doing their businesses. So in that particular time, that's what exactly happened. So is that what uh, provoked Bapa as he come and did his work? And then whatever he did, he do it in the right position because he give us a notice. Before us, before we come to the office, he give good uh, four weeks. After we come to the office, he give another two weeks. And then still, he add another two weeks, almost two months for the notice. That's exactly what happened. Next, now sports news with the come. And on top sports news, before before Bolton Wanderers and West Ham midfielder Ke Kevin Nolan talks say, Manchester United for Rush go signed Wantaway PSG striker Edison Cavani instead of them to go for Odion Igalo. Igalo joined the 20 time Premier League champions for six month loan deal from Chinese side Shanghai Shenhua for January transfer deadline day. This latest move where Kari Igalo enter Man U don't make many footballers and football fans they agree and disagree. They say he no be the right person to help Red Devils come out from this river where one swallow them. Nolan we don't wear 402 Premier League caps for Bolton Wanderers, Newcastle United and West Ham United believe say Manchester United for go for Kajat striker like Edin Senkavani we've been done make up in mind to leave PSG. He got a register in name for Manchester United on Sunday and he go play in first game for Man U against Chelsea for February 17. My people not the Tory be that, but make I tell you now our top Tory again. Nigeria, they join over the world today to mark World Cancer Day. National Assembly will collaborate with executive to address security wahala. Many people don't wound you as police and Okada riders don't fight inside Lagos. And we tell you, as a court, don't give bail to journalists within charge sake of how they disturb public peace. My people, thank you so you join us for As It Take Happen for this afternoon. My name is Nana Douglas. Join us for 2 o'clock when we will bring you another one. Una good afternoon. To enjoy more of this, our Ugon Get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.